Hi guys, this is a Zossi security camera system here. I've already made a video about it. It was an unboxing, general review, first impression kind of video. I would suggest to watch that video first if you haven't, because in this video, we're gonna be only looking at it from the computer networking point of view. Particularly, I'll be focusing on different ways that I can use to monitor my security cameras remotely. So if you watched the previous video, you know that if I want to access the NVR remotely from the outside, one solution is to use this cloud ID number. And you might remember that I wasn't quite sure about using this, because I'm not 100% clear how this actually works. It could be a technique called hole punching. A simple explanation for that would be that a third party server is used to share and relay some information between these two, information like internal and external addresses and port numbers. With the help of this information, they can somehow manage to punch a hole in the NAT device and access the NVR. I'm gonna add some links in the video description in case you wanna know more about this technique. I would personally use this method only if I trusted all the parties involved in the process. Let's say if there is some security and trust issue with this guy, and some unauthorized user can manage to access the information shared with this server. Then this user can also access my NVR, and this hole punching technique all of a sudden becomes a security hole in my network. And before I know, somebody might be monitoring my cameras and basically is spying on me. Don't get me wrong though, I'm not trying to say this cloud ID is absolutely unsecure. What I'm trying to say is that because it is not clear to me how this works, and because each and every bit of this system has a different name and I'm not sure who is doing what, I just rather not use the cloud ID number. I even asked the Zossi support for more information regarding this, but they just forwarded some generic information and no details. So maybe if they can provide us with more details on this, it'll help everybody to have a peace of mind when using it. So now let's check out the alternative ways that we can use to monitor the camera system remotely. One way would be to do port forwarding on the NAT device, which in my case is the wireless router. But before I do, I'm gonna make a couple of changes on the NVR. First of all, I won't need this cloud ID number anymore, so I'm gonna disable that. I will also disable the DHCP server, just to make sure the NVR's IP address is static and it's not going to change. Finally, I'm gonna block the NVR's IP address from accessing the internet, because I don't want it to share anything with any servers on the internet anymore. This is something that I can do if I have a firewall, but most of the wireless routers nowadays have built-in firewalls that can do this too. For example, this is how I block the NVR's IP address from accessing the internet. I still allow it to use the local area network. So now I can start the port forwarding process. The NVR by default uses port TCP80. I should also select an external port number and configure my firewall or wireless router to forward that port to my NVR. So with the port forwarding in place, when I'm outside the network and I'm on my computer, I can open a browser and type in the public IP address of the NVR, then colon and the external port number and connect to the NVR. So that was port forwarding. But that's not necessarily very secure either, because right now my network has an open port. So guess what, I'm not even gonna use port forwarding either. Another way would be to use a VPN connection to my VPN server at home when I'm outside the network. That actually puts me virtually on my home network, so I can simply open a browser and type in the NVR's IP address and connect. I definitely prefer VPN, it's even more secure than doing port forwarding. Every time I want to check and monitor the cameras, I use a VPN connection and I don't have to worry about any security holes or any unauthorized access anymore. Alright guys, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this quick video. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comment section right down below. Thank you again and I see you next time.